In tonight's Whatever Happened to series piece, California's High Speed Rail Project. Many people consider it a white elephant, kept alive only by Governor Jerry Brown's commitment to big labor and his legacy. National correspondent William Lajeunesse tells us as of now, there is very little light at the end of this tunnel. Over budget and behind schedule, California's high speed rail project is running out of money. It's not that expensive. We can afford it. In fact, we cannot not afford it. Voters were told nine years ago the train would cost $33 billion. Today, estimates are twice that. Private contractors would pay a third of the cost. Today, none have invested. Travel L.A. to San Francisco, under three hours. Today, no one knows how long it will take. Our goal is to give 80% of Americans access to high-speed rail. We understand what the politicians say. The reality is... Can anybody tell us what we're sacrificing this stuff for? Frank Oliveira's family has owned this parcel for generations, but the state is using its eminent domain authority to forcibly purchase thousands of acres of prime farmland from Oliveira and others up and down the Central Valley. Why is our livelihoods here being destroyed? for this project that will never materialize. We have over 119 miles under design and construction. Uh, we have 17 current active construction sites. But the rail project lacks secure funding. The feds kicked in $3 billion, but no more is likely. And polls show voters feel betrayed. I think it should have to go back to the voters. One, the cost overruns. They're talking now that it could be $69 billion or more. They said the private sector would invest and they have not. The state Supreme Court found ballot language used to sell the project misleading. Ridership surveys inflated, ticket prices unrealistic, and financial projections unfounded. If you're subsidizing the riders on high-speed high rail, that means you're taking money away from the classroom and from our first responders. It's the future, and it's happening right here in Fresno, California. By starting construction in the flat Central Valley, Governor Brown hoped to save money and show progress. That didn't happen. Now critics point to plans to burrow under 52 miles of mountains. Yet the cost of tunneling under just one 13-mile stretch is $7 billion, or 10% of the entire project. There's tunnels being built all over the world. Um, we're not, you know, the first country to, you know, decide that we need to build a tunnel through the mountains. Instead of a light at the end of the tunnel, the project is about to hit a budgetary brick wall. According to McCarthy, President Trump is not inclined to throw good money after bad, and the state cannot bankroll the project alone, leaving Governor Jerry Brown without a train and likely no track when he leaves office early next year. Brett? William, thank you.